Yo, what's up? My name is Daniel Flefel, and in today's freestyle calisthenics tutorial, I will teach you guys how to learn the Dislocate 360. I will go through 7 steps to learn the Dislocate 360. This move is an intermediate level skill and requires a small amount of flexibility in your shoulders. I will give you some exercises for that as well. But remember to not rush this skill, do it slow and steady and don't let your ego take over. But before you try out this move I recommend you to learn the normal swing 360 because that will make it easier to understand the Dislocate 360. And I have already made a tutorial about it and you can find the link to it in the description. Now let's start out with the first step. First step is to work on the move with a stick to build up some mobility in the shoulders. Grab a stick and have it as wide as you feel comfortable with. Then bring it back over your head and behind your back. Then get it back to the starting position again. Don't arch your back when doing this, maintain the lower back in a natural position. 10 reps and 3 sets of these. Whenever you feel that you can bring your arms closer to each other, do that. In the other variation of the stick exercise, you start with the stick behind your back and now grab it with your palms facing forward. This will mimic the move more because this is how you will hold the hands when swinging. A tip is to breathe through the movement at all time. The next step is to just hang on the bar with a dislocated grip, as you can see in this video. Find the bar that is low enough for you to be able to grab it while you stand on your feet. Take the grip as wide as you feel comfortable with and just hang for 5 to 10 seconds, then rest. You wanna do this to get your body used to hang in this position. If you can get your arms closer to each other, try to do that and hang for 5 to 10 seconds. Repeat this 3 to 5 times. I would recommend to use chalk for the next steps, either liquid chalk or normal chalk block. Now the third step is to hang in the same position and start getting a small swing and then releasing and landing on your feet. Do this on a lower bar to get comfortable with this move. Try to get more and more swings so you get used to it. In step number 4 you will swing again like step number 3, but now on the way back you wanna release and turn 180. This is why I recommend everybody to learn the normal 360, because then you will understand this one better. To turn and land easier, twist your head a little bit before releasing the bar and get your arms close to your body to spin better. You can work on this while you stand on the ground as well. Hold up your hand and then take them in and turn your body and head. For step 5 you wanna get some more speed here and then turn 360 instead of 180. When doing it with a dislocated grip you will need to go for it. You can't just relax your way to the move. When you're gonna spin you will need to spin as fast as you can. If you don't understand how to spin in a 360, go check the Swing 360 tutorial where I explain in details, link in bio. The sixth step is to go to a higher bar so you can really swing with your legs and get the speed that you need. Grab the bar and start swinging. Now get a lot of swing and then decide that you're gonna spin and catch the bar. Remember to turn your head because where your head goes your body will follow. You can release both hands at the same time or one hand at a time. Just remember to tension your core at all time. Last step for this skill is the transition from a normal swing to a dislocated grip. Practice this on a lower bar first like I'm doing here. When you have almost come to the highest point in the swing forward, you wanna push your chest up, almost like you are arching your upper back. Then you wanna do a small pull up, at the same time release the grip and then change it to a dislocated grip while you still push your chest up. A tip is to almost hit, not hard, but hit the bar before trying to grab it. Because then you will know where the bar is and you can just close the hands and get the swing. Your hips should be pushed out and not bent. Now that you have done this a couple of times on a low bar, it is time to do it on a higher bar. I will first show you how to not do it, because this will not be as smooth. Here I am bending my hips and lifting my knees up to get that height to be able to switch. And I look like a banana here, try to avoid this, but this is not uncommon to do in the start. Now take a swing and when you're on your way forward again, you push your hips forward and up, pull yourself up with your arms slightly and then switch the grip during that airtime. 
As you might notice, I almost lay horizontal with my body. This is not necessary to do, but will give you more swing towards the Dislocate 360. If you have the possibility to use mats when working on this move, do that. Safety first. I hope these steps will help you achieve the Dislocate 360. Don't rush it, slow and steady wins the race. But remember, don't do it too often because your shoulders are not used to hang in this position. It will rather harm you than help you. Before you leave, hit that like button and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this one or calisthenic related content. See you in the next video.